Hey guys, Dave Chang here. This season I'm back with the TNF crew reporting on the best of food and culture all around the league. Today, in honor of Dallas visiting the Giants, I'm making Texas style chili with New York style pastrami, no beans. So I'm adding some olive oil. Chili happens because I've made a mistake making something else and it's a great dish that you can repurpose. And it doesn't always have to be uh, traditionally beef, turkey, chicken, you name it. I am doing this super thin because I want to cook this as quickly as possible, the onions. I, I chopped some onions, now I'm gonna slice some garlic in there. All right, so I did an onion and a half. I'm probably gonna do another onion. And I wanna get some color on this. The color is gonna come from the sugar in the onions, and we're gonna want to develop that sweetness in the chili. And this is on high heat. So I think this needs some smoky flavor that pastrami doesn't always have. So I have some bacon scraps. I'm not gonna use all of it. The reason I'm adding the bacon now is I wanna, if I'm gonna do chili, I want this all to be one pot. That's just the, how I'm always thinking about chili. It's a one pot thing. So the reason I didn't cook the lardons, the bacon first, is because I don't want to move it into another pan. When I'm thinking also one pot, it's literally like as little dishes as possible. The reason I'm doing this now is I don't need it crunchy. What I need is that fat rendered out a little bit. And if I cook that first, it would get crunchy and I need the onions to start first so I can break those down and get some caramelization on that. I'm gonna take a couple of these ancho chilies, which are dried smoked poblano peppers. Take the seeds out. You could use your own chili powder that you find at the at, at Whole Foods, but I'm gonna make my own real quick. One sort of dried arbol chili. I'm gonna add some oregano. I got smoked paprika. That amount of cinnamon, cumin seed, a tiny bit of star anise, like a quarter. I find that this is uh, one of my favorite flavors and something that has a lot of aromatics like any kind of chili, but a little bit goes a long way. Salt. That's nice. If you don't have pastrami, it's fine. Use any, any kind of beef. Turn the heat down a little bit. So here, I have some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. And you don't always have to, but I'm gonna add some pureed tomatoes as well. I'm also gonna add a beer. This is Athletic Brewing, a non-alcoholic beer. You don't have to add alcohol, but this is like a dark IPA. These are, without question, the best canned tomatoes in America. Also, my favorite can opener, available on Amazon. A cup of barbecue sauce. This is some beef bouillon. Add a little more beer, different flavor. And I'm not gonna add the seasoning quite yet. I just wanna make sure that all the other components are right. The chili powder. Some chicken stock, you could add water if you want. All right, I'm gonna now let that get to a boil, simmer it. I'm gonna get all the garnishes ready right now. Some jalapeno. Now this is pretty spicy already, and that has mainly to do from 
the dried chilies that I added, but it's not too spicy, so you can certainly punch it up with some jalapeno. Cut some of this onion. Some cheddar cheese. Some sour cream or creme fraiche. You could even use a high fat yogurt. And I honestly feel like whether this is traditional or not in Texas chili, which I do not think that it is, I feel like it's a crucial element. Chives, just roughly chopped. Some cilantro. I'm gonna put stems in all. I'm a big fan of cilantro stems. I think they're actually my favorite bit of cilantro. It's something that I have, cilantro as a, in general, I'm one of those people where it tastes like soap, but I have grown to really love the flavors of cilantro. I'm gonna add some black pepper. This is one of the few occasions where white pepper is a wonderful flavor because of that anise-like flavors that ties in well with the cumin, the chili, and particularly the star anise. So really the only thing that's New York about this chili is the fact that we use pastrami. And you might think to yourself, well, that's strange. It's really not that strange when you consider a lot of the Texas chili that I love has burn ends or brisket that's been smoked in it. So very similar. So here we have our chili. Dollop of sour cream. Onions. what Thursday night football has been missing. So delicious. To be honest, you can't taste any bit of New York City in this chili. All that matters is it tastes delicious. It does miss the beans though, but there's so much flavor. There's so many notes of different spices that it would be almost impossible to detect that you're actually eating pastrami, which is fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to catch the game every Thursday night on Amazon Prime and subscribe to the Sports on Prime YouTube channel.